what's up out there in internet land? My name is Nick DeSalvo. I play guitar and I sing in the band Elder. And today I'm going to show you how to play the opening riff off of our 2017 record, Reflections of a Floating World, from the song Sanctuary. So let's get to it. Really quickly before we dive into the riff, uh, you need to have your guitar tuned to the right tuning. Um, this entire album is written in D standard drop C, which of course means that your entire guitar is tuned down a whole step and your low E string is tuned down an additional step so that you can play a power chord just by hitting open two notes. So this riff is built around a couple of repetitions of arpeggios and little licks that are put together with a slight variation um, ending in a little pull-off uh, thingy that leads into the next riff. As you're probably already going to notice, uh, I am not a classically trained player, I am not a particularly educated musician, and I'm going to try my best to explain this riff and break it down into a lucid uh, way for you to understand uh, in my own idiotic terminology. So, anyhow, the riff begins with uh, three hits on the low E string. And we're already going to get into position for the first arpeggio, which is part of this lick. Uh, so, uh, with your pinky finger on the 15th fret of the low E string, you're going to have your middle finger on the 12th fret of the A string. That's the first arpeggio, pulling down at the end of it to the seventh fret on the D string. So it sounds like this. In slow motion. Uh, in practicality, a lot of the times when playing this stuff live, or even on the records with a lot of high distortion, uh, the playing isn't super exact. It's almost more about the rhythmic function of this whole... Like this three click and a pull, pull down sound uh, that makes it what it is. So anyhow, yeah, the first part of this, and you're already in position for this uh, second little lick, which is with your uh, pinky finger again, you're going to go down onto the 10th fret of the A string, and just bar a little chord with your, uh, with your pointer finger. Again, the first part of this is cool. Uh, the second part, we're going to drop again, take the hands off the strings, three hits set up for your next arpeggio, which is built around uh, the 12th fret on the low E string, the 10th fret on the E string, and the 7th fret on the D string. Same kind of uh, similar chord shape, same kind of uh, movement again from this time as and uh, again the exact same shape from the first part with your pinky finger now on the 8th fret of the A string and barring a chord along the 5th fret of the rest of the uh, But this time instead of dropping down like we did this one this one uh, just drops down one fret on the E string. And completes with this little lick here. So that makes... So just to reiterate that, so far we've got... So that's basically the entire riff right there. Um, there are some slight variations, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, the second time around, you play the riff instead of just hitting this lick one time, you hit it twice. I'm not actually sure if this is just a live thing I started doing, uh, or if it's actually on the studio record. I don't really listen to our records once they're made, so um, I'm always playing the first time around, and then the second time on a higher. This whole pattern is played uh, twice, I believe, <laughs> uh, until we hit the part where it goes into the transitions into the next riff, and that is simply um, just a couple pull-offs uh, again on the on the top or on the bottom three strings of the guitar. So 
So you're going to end this riff with... <laughs> There you go. Hopefully that was um, yeah understandable enough for you guys to pick this riff apart. Have fun playing. And check out our new record, Omens, which was released this past year. Haven't had a chance to tour off of that, obviously, due to um, you know known circumstances. But yeah, hope everyone out there is well, and hope to see you as soon as humanly possible. Peace.